Okay guys, well, just on another trip. I'm um, sitting on the top of a double-decker bus at the moment. Um, two, on my way from two, the Premier Inn at Heathrow Terminal, Terminal 4 five. to Terminal 5, as you've just heard there. Travelling British Airways Club Europe today, um, from Heathrow obviously, to um, Sofia. I'm going to check out a um, three-hour flight in Club Europe with British Airways. Um, spending a day in Sofia and then coming back it's exactly the same way. I uh, hope you enjoy the video and I'll catch you a little bit later. I made my way to the BA lounge in Terminal 5B via the underground walkway on floor minus 4. It's quieter here than the other lounges in Terminal 5 and still has a good view of the aircraft outside. Once on board, we were given menu cards and the usual hot towels prior to takeoff. This lunchtime flight was in an A320 Neo, taking off from runway 27R, cruising at an altitude of 37,000 feet. The estimated flight time was about 3 hours and 20 minutes. this flight had Wi-Fi connectivity. I didn't try it, but I thought the prices were fairly reasonable, as was the legroom. <laughs> Food was very nice and well presented. There was certainly enough here to prevent me from going hungry on this flight. We flew over the Alps on the way and there were beautiful views of the snow covered peaks below. Bulgaria is two hours ahead of the UK, so it was already dark by the time we landed. I made my way to the metro station, which was just outside the airport. Okay guys, well, I've got Sam um, to Sofia Airport. Uh, I'm just in the metro station now, which is pretty nice actually. You sort of take a look, there's some kind of retro old train there. I've just missed one, I've no idea where it was going. It's very cold here. The um, pilot told us we had to turn off all our electronic devices, um, so I was unable to video the landing. Lots of fog, ground fog in the area, uh, certainly localised around the airport, so we had to do that. It's very cold. 
Uh, below at minus three, I think the pilot said, and I can feel that now. So I'm waiting for another train. Uh, I'll head off into Sofia city centre and I'll speak to you later. Cheers for now. Okay guys, so I'm um, just in the hotel room. It's Saturday morning, had a great night's sleep. A nice hotel right in the center of Sofia. I'm gonna go out and explore for a bit. Uh, may take a few videos while I'm um, looking around. I uh, hope you enjoy it and um, I'll see you later. The hot springs in the city center are a gathering point where locals stock up on water supplies for free. Okay guys, uh, well I'm here at um, Sardika Square, I think it's cool in Sofia. You just about to see, if I lift that up a bit, the old communist headquarters behind me. <laughs> Originally had the old five-pointed red star on the top and there was a massive protest against that a few years back and they managed to take it down finally. But I'm quite interested by the fact that it's uh, 10 o'clock, just gone 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning. Well, there's like hardly anybody about, which is crazy really, but uh, you know, if this was in Shrewsbury and ran up to Christmas, it would be absolutely heaving by this time. Anyway, it's just freezing cold, so that might have something to do with it. I'm going to have a little bit more of a wander around and uh, take some photos, so I hope you like them. I'll see you later. Okay guys, well I've just managed to sneak into the M National Stadium in Sofia. So I'm gonna take a few photos and hopefully I found a gate that was open. No one will lock it behind me. Yeah, see what it can come see how we get on I think. I've got to be a bit um, covert with this one. Sofia is full of amazing churches and cathedrals, like this one, the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. I stumbled across a protest which was taking place. I think it was about the protection of children. This must be a big issue here. I witnessed the changing of the guard outside the presidential palace. After which, and probably about eight miles of walking around the city centre, it was time to head back to the hotel for a well-deserved evening meal and some traditional Bulgarian food. Okay guys, uh, well I'm just um, at the metro station now waiting for a train which will take me back to Sofia Airport. It's been a great couple of days here, I really enjoyed it. Um, nice and efficient, the uh, metro system, public transport getting around nice and easy. Hopefully, I just feel a bit of wind now, so there'll be a train coming in the not too distant future. It'll take me back up to the airport. It takes about half an hour, and I'll see you when I get back. Cheers. Sofia Airport was fairly quiet when I arrived. There were some great views of the apron from the terminal. I tried both lounges here and found both pretty grim, especially the downstairs one. I tried to work out what to do with this sandwich but just gave up in the end. Our flight back was on another A320neo. It was an estimated flight time of about three and a half hours. The mist which had enshrouded Sofia for most of my visit had cleared and I was hoping to get some good views of Mount Vitosha as we climbed away from the airport.
a beautiful view of the sunset in on our way back. Made even better with one or two glasses of wine and champagne, of course. I found the crew especially attentive and friendly on this flight. And obviously it always helps when the other seating club view is unoccupied. A lovely approach landing a taxi at Heathrow. Before I knew it, I was back on the tube and making my way back to Shrewsbury. Okay guys, well back at Shrewsbury station after my latest trip to Sophia from Heathrow down in London. Uh, again I was um, in Club Europe with British Airways and the flight got to say it's about three hours or so long and it's pretty much the same as, as any other Club Europe flight um, in terms of food and drink service was exemplary again um, so I've got nothing but praise for British Airways crew and uh, and the flight was fine the, the weather wasn't great in Sofia and as for Sofia itself I think it's probably worth a day or two there I'm not sure I'd go back I've seen all the sites now um, and I'll try somewhere else next time around um, if you like this video then please um, don't forget to subscribe links just there and um, click on any other links if you um, if you like any of my other videos um, I've got another couple of trips planned soon so I'll be posting those up too hope you enjoyed this video and I will speak to you again soon cheers for now